I am Verna Smith and welcome to another edition of Issues in Focus. What a week it has been. The President has been in office for 100 days and what a hubbub it was. He celebrated his 100th day with a press conference, his 13th or his 14th, and he also had a town hall meeting in Missouri talking to people where he said he was pleased with his accomplishments but not satisfied. I understand it fully. I gave him an A minus and so many others did. I think all in all with all the polls that I heard from CNN and MSNBC and you name it, it averaged to a B plus. But it was clear that so far 62% of Americans are pleased with the direction that the president is moving the country and are pleased that he's doing the best that he can given the circumstances to resolve the many problems that are on his plate. Let's not kid ourselves. This president has a lot on his plate. It's unfortunate, but that's, as he said, that's the dice. That's what he has to work with. And I think he has been energetic. I think he has been forthright in trying to come up with answers. Nobody has a solution. He's trying to find one. We thought, we wish we had one. So all of us can pull ourselves out of this, especially the economic part of it, together. But right now, from the indications and from what I hear, the economy has not gotten any worse. It's still there on that edge of stability, meaning things are looking up, meaning if it has bottomed out, we can only hope it is moving up. I am not sure, you are not sure, but again, the president has gone his past 100 days and now it's the second 100 days. What can we expect? Well, if he didn't have enough to deal with, there is Judge Souter, that's the topic of the week, Judge David Souter of the Supreme Court has sent a letter to the president that he's stepping down. Now, who will Mr. Obama pick to replace this person? From what he said, he wants somebody who's smart, a sense of integrity, of a sense of the community, how people live. He doesn't want somebody who does just goes to the law book and, you know, uh, interpret the law strictly as it's written there. He wants somebody who has lived some life out there, have a sense of people and community, and that comes under activists, something that the GOP totally opposes. So who will Mr. Obama pick to, brief, to fill the seat? The vetting process has not yet begun, but names are being thrown out. Some people are saying it should be an Hispanic person because there's not an Hispanic so far that has been given uh, some benefits from their having voted for him in the November elections. Some people are saying we need to have another black woman or there should be a black woman on the court because after all, Justice Thomas is there, but he has always voted with the conservatives on the court. Uh, he was supposed to have been the re replacement for the late Thurgood Marshall. So some people are saying we need to have another black presence there. And this would be the only opportunity to hear a black woman mentioned even as a candidate for the Supreme Court. Somebody is saying it should be an Asian judge. All I'm saying is there's a, a great deal of names being thrown out. I am not sure if it's going to be significant or symbolic, but I know that President Obama, given he himself is a constitutional lawyer, taught law at the University of Chicago, was with the Harvard Law Review, I'm sure he has a sense of who he's looking for, and I have a feeling it's going to be another theater. Do you recall the Thomas hearings with Anita Hill? I mean, I, I, mean, I was expecting to see gloves thrown, but that said, Mr. Obama has another big issue to deal with in his next 100 days, and I'm sure, as expected, we are looking to see how he deals with that. Number two on the, the topic, of course, you can go to my blog. I invite you to go to my blog. This week, I addressed the Souter uh, issue on my blog, vernasmith.com. I repeat, vernasmith.com. I addressed it. and. The topic of my blog was, after Judge Souter, what kind of justice? Who is going to be there? Or in actually saying it should be somebody who is big, meaning outstanding in the community, 
Senator Isle Inspector, it should be a statesman or a stateswoman. Do any of those live among us anymore? There was a time when I thought politics, I thought of states people, people who did it for the nation, for the good of it, not for themselves. But are any of those alive among us anymore? Does politics mean people who really look to the people and not to themselves? I hope so. But again, visit my blog, vernasmith.com, join the conversation. So again, we are just about running out of time, and I want to thank you for joining me. This is Verna Smith for Issues in Focus.